All right, everyone, or anybody who's going to watch this PowerPoint presentation on Pablo Picasso's Guernica, this is my title, Pablo Picasso. My name is Luis Aguilar, uh, University of Florida National University. The class is Humanities, DAX DL01. The professor is Dr. Ordelin Gutierrez Bello, and the date is October 17th, 2023. We're gonna start off with a little introduction right here, Pablo Picasso, Guernica. Right here, you can see a little picture of him doing like a light artistic thing, all right? And before I start, I'm gonna start with an introduction. Uh, Pablo Picasso, and uh, before we get into the, into the critique, and so yeah, so Pablo Picasso is, as we all know, is one of the most influential and celebrated artists of the 20th century. He is renowned for his groundbreaking contributions to the world of art. He was born on October 25th, 1881 in Malaga, Spain, and unfortunately passed away on April 8th, 1973 in Mougins, France, all right? And uh, Picasso's life and work are closely intertwined with the dynamic cultural and historical current currents of his time, which is the current events of his time. Uh, Pablo Picasso's artistic journey began in the late 19th century, a period marked by profound societal and artistic shifts. He was born during a time when Spain was transitioning from a monarchy to a republic. And this political turbulence had a strong lasting impact on his work. By the early, 20, early, early 20th century, when Picasso had relocated to Paris, Europe was one of the cusp, cusp of major transformations, including the outbreak of World War I and the ensuing turbulence of the interwar years. Picasso's art would reflect the trauma, upheaval, and, and innovations of his era. Picasso's career unfolded against the backdrop of several significant cultural and artistic movements, including, including Cubism. And Cubism, with Cubism, Picasso is often credited with, a co with uh, being co-founding the Cubist movement along with Georges Brock. Cubism was a revolutionary departure from traditional representation, emphasizing abstract and fragmented forms, challenging the way we perceive reality. Surrealism, in the 1920s, Picasso had a significant influence on surrealism, a movement that explored the world of dreams, the subconscious, and irrationality in art. His work during this period, including Guernica, reflects the turmoil of the Spanish Civil War and the horrors of warfare that, brought, that, it, came, that it brought. Also with abstraction, later in his career, Picasso experimented with abstraction, producing works that were characterized by a more minimalistic and symbolic approach to form and color. Pablo Picasso was a child prodigy, displaying immense artistic talent from an early age. He received formal training in art at the Royal Academy of San Fernando in Madrid. But he quick, quickly outgrew academic conventions. He moved to Paris in the early 1900s, which became the epicenter of the international art scene. In the French capital, which is Paris, Picasso mingled with other influential artists, writers, excuse me, sorry, writers and thinkers such as Henry Matisse, Gertrude Stein, and André Breton. All right, let's go jump to the critique. Pablo, this is uh, Pablo's Picasso's Guernica. It was made in 1937. It is a powerful and emotionally charged, charged uh, masterpiece that employs a range of artistic elements and principles to convoy the horrors of the war particularly the bombing of the town of Guernica during the Spanish Civil War. Let's quickly analyze this painting using various art terms that are required to critique this uh, composition by, by Picasso. So we're gonna start with the color. If you notice, Guernica is pr primarily uh, utilizes a monochromatic palette of blacks, whites, and grays creating a stark and somber atmosphere. 
the limited color scheme intensifies this, the sense of tragedy and despair. Uh, I'm not an art professional, but usually um, dark colors represent negativity, while night uh, bright colors present uh, like reds and blues or like yellows. They represent more of a positive uh, vibe. Uh, the balance, the composition achieves, achieves balance through asymmetry, which Picasso uses in, uh, in other paintings. Nothing is too much symmetrical. With various elements distribu distributed unevenly, the strong contrast between the chaotic left side and the more ordered right side adds to the visual tension. You can see that even though the right side is also chaotic, as it goes to the left, it becomes worse. Um, the form, Picasso's manipulation of form is striking, particularly in the disordered, distorted uh, and fragmented figures and objects. The shattered and anguished forms of humans and animals are a testament to the devastation of the war. The contrast, there is a significant uh, interplay of light and dark in Guernica, creating a sharp contrast that highlights the chaotic and disordered nature of the scene. This contrast also underscores a sense of suffering and despair. With the lines, you can see that he uses bold, jagged lines to define the shapes and contours of the figures and objects, giving a sense of urgency and unease. These lines combined with the geometric shapes contribute to the overall composition's dynamism. Going ahead with the design, the composition is well designed to, to draw the viewer's attention to the central focal points, like the anguished horse, the crying mother, and the dying soldier on the floor holding the knife. They contribute to the overall composition's dynamism. The design, I mean, not the, the, the shape, the, shape, the shapes in the composition are often distorted, conveying a sense of chaos and disintegration. The, the, this distortion serves to accentuate the suffering and confusion experienced during wartime. The proportion or the scale, the proportions of the figures are intentionally exaggerated and, and distorted, em emphasizing the emotional intensity of the subject matter. The disproportionate sizes of the figures create a sense of imbalance. Yeah, the negative energy, nothing is even. I guess you could be like, oh, if it was more positive, it would be more even. But all this, all this unbalance gives away gives away the like the turmoil and the and the violence that's been going around in that in in the in the composition. Uh, the space. The use of space in the composition is flattened and compressed, which intensifies the feeling of confinement and the psycholo psychological impact of the painting. The confined space contributes to a sense of helplessness and despair. Yeah, you have uh, animals and humans all in the same area where, you know, animals would be like in a farm. Uh, you could see that there's somebody coming out of the building on, on the right hand side and and I don't know, everything just seems everywhere and everyone is going crazy. Uh, with the patterns, while there are no repetitive patterns in the traditional sense, the shattered forms and sharp lines create a sense of irregular, fragmented patterns that mirror the chaos of the subject matter. I don't know if I repeated that again. The texture, the surface of the painting appears to have a rough textural quality, adding depth and complexity to the visual experience. The, te the texture enhances the emotional depth of the work. With the perspective, Picasso utilizes various techniques such as foreshortening and overlapping to give depth to the figures and create a three-dimensional quality. This step serves to immerse the viewer in the scene. Yeah, sending for uh, if you're looking at it, you can see that the dying soldier is closer to you. Towards the left, you can see the woman in despair. You can see she's far away and crying as if like if she's holding somebody that just died. 
um, all the way to the right. You can see as if somebody is in the in the middle. Yeah, it gives a, good, a nice, good uh, three dimensional view. You can see what's close and what's a little bit far. The value or the col color property, the contrast between light and shadow achieved through variations in value is critical in this composition because it highlights the intensity of emotions and the trauma experienced by the figures. The unity, despite the fragment, fragmented and chaotic nature of the composition, there is a strong sense of unity in the painting. The elements come together to create a cohesive, cohesive and emotionally charged narrative. Yeah, everything comes together, given the 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 vibe of of suffering. Yeah, it's all compacted together as if it's very uncomfortable. Nobody's having a good time. They're all going through it, even the animals. Uh, the variety, Picasso's use of varied forms, shapes, and lines create a sense of diversity within the chaos, allowing the viewers to explore different aspects of the tragedy depicted. Yeah, everything from the light above, uh, the bull, everything is distorted. Um, you can tell that everything is is bad, like whatever's happening to happening to him. But every everybody has their own like specific suffering when it comes to the to the composition. Uh, yeah, this is my first critique. I hope you liked it, and uh, I hope it goes good. In conclusion, Guernica is a masterpiece. It is a masterful work that effectively employs a wide range of artistic elements and principles to convoy the emotional and psychological impacts of war. Through the, man through the manipulation of form, space, and composition, as we just talked about. Picasso captures the horrors of the Spanish Civil War and creates a lasting testament to the suffering caused by conflict. This composition has always been shown to me since I was a little kid, since elementary school all the way through high school, whenever I had art class. And it was always a painting that would, that would always be asked like, oh, what do you see in this picture? Is it positive? Is it negative? Obviously they were trying to see if you could capture the negativity in it. And when it comes to paintings, I think this one really shows that, or like, even if you don't know about art like me, like you could really sense that it's a, a negative painting. Uh, who knows what Picasso was going through while he was painting this, but from the painting or his composition, you could see that it was not a good time at all. Um, I really do like this painting. Um, I think it goes along with a little bit of sadness, like the guy with the guitar. I forgot what the what it's called, but when it comes to Picasso, I feel like he really does put his his uh his feelings or his energy into it, and and I and I really enjoyed doing this uh this critique. So yeah, I hope you like it and enjoy. Thank you. Bye.